Hi, this is Raj and in the next few sessions we are going to talk about one of the key topics in ATL world named change data capture. As part of these sessions I will provide a demo on how the change data capture techniques be implemented via Pentaho Kettle tool. One of the popular open source ETL tools available for ETL processing. For the sake of logical grouping, this session has been classified into three sections with section 1 to give a brief introduction to CDC, section 2 to give a demo on how to implement the CDC through Pentaho Kettle tool in a scenario where we have timestamp details available at source. And as part of section 3, we shall see how CDC can be implemented through Pentaho when there is no timestamp details available at source. Let's move on to section 1, Introduction to CDC. In this section, we will talk about what is CDC, what are the categories in CDC, types within each CDC categories, types within the scope of our discussion. What is CDC? CDC stands for Change Data Capture. It is a technique to incrementally identify and extract the incremental data changes or the delta from source. Let's go further deep by understanding what this means. In an ETL process, the first step is the extraction of data from various source systems and storing the extracted data in staging tables. This seems like a trivial task and with respect to initial loading of data warehouse, it usually is, apart from challenges incurred with data volumes and slow network connections. But after the initial load, you do not want to repeat the process of extracting the whole data again, which wouldn't be of much use anyway because you already have an almost complete set of data that only needs to be refreshed to reflect the current status. All you are interested in is what has changed since the last data load. So you need to identify which records have been inserted, modified or even deleted. The process of identifying these changes and only retrieving records that are different from what you already loaded in the data warehouse is called change data capture or in short CDC. CDC categories. In a broader sense, CDC can be classified into two categories namely intrusive category and non-intrusive category. Intrusive category. This is one of the CDC techniques in which executing SQL statements in one way or the other is required at the source system. This is one of the commonly used techniques in CDC. However, impl implementing CDC with this intrusive category involves performance impact on the source from which the data is extracted. This is because in real world this involves performing an I.O. operation at the database by scanning through the entire table containing large volume of records or it depends on what the filtering criteria is. Non-intrusive category. On the contrary to intrusive category, this non-intrusive category or the method does not involve execution of SQL statements at source. Instead, this method involves reading log files of the source database to identify the data that is being inserted, modified or deleted from source into the target data warehouse or the data mart. Types within CDC categories. At a high level, there are four ways to implement CDC in a system. They are Timestamp based technique, snapshot based technique, triggers based technique and log based technique. 
out of these four ways, the first three fall under intrusive category and the last one, log based technique falls under non-intrusive category. Let us see how each of these techniques perform CDC operations at a high level and we go into more details of how to implement these in further sessions. Timestamp based technique. This technique depends on a timestamp field in the source to identify and extract the changed data sets. Triggers based technique. This technique requires creation of database triggers to identify the changes occurred in the source system and thereby to capture those changes into the target. The implementation of this technique is specific to the database on which the triggers need to be created. Snapshot based technique. The technique involves on creating a complete extract of data from source table in the target staging area. Therefore, when the next time the incremental data needs to be loaded, a second version or in other words, the snapshot of the source table is compared to the original one for spotting the changes. Log based technique. In general, every DML operations such as inserts, updates, deletes are captured in a log file of a database along with the timestamp or a database specific unique identifier indicating when each of these operations had incurred. This log based technique depends on these log information to spot the changes and perform CDC operations. Types within the scope of our discussion. In the next few sessions, we will be discussing on the following intrusive techniques. And they are timestamp based technique and snapshot based technique. As part of these sessions, we will understand the definition or when to use each technique, how to implement these CDC techniques, what are the pros and cons in each of the techniques. And most importantly, all these details will be covered on a demo with Pentahookettle tool. The implementation of other two techniques namely triggers based technique and log based technique are specific to each database on which the CDC process needs to be implemented. For instance, as we have already mentioned, trigger based technique requires creation of database triggers to identify the changes occurred in source system to capture those data into target. And since this is specific to database on which the triggers need to be created, and we are going to concentrate on how to use Pentahookettle tool, so these techniques like trigger based technique and log based technique are not covered as part of the future sessions. So without any further delay, let's move on to those next sessions.